Hello and welcome back to GSAP. If you don't know what GSAP is, you can watch this video. And if you know what GSAP is, today we will be learning about SVGs and how you can create interactive SVGs like this one. So if you see the line moves with my mouse wherever I take it and when I leave the SVG area, it goes back to it with a bounce. We will be learning how to create this effect using HTML, CSS, JavaScript and the GSAP CDN. For starting fresh, I will just create a new folder on my desktop with the name SVG line. Open this folder in VS Code. Uh, yes, I do trust everything. And then create three files. index.html, style.css and script.js first of all let us add the boilerplate for html and add css to it with the link tag because i used the standard name it will automatically write style.css and i do not have to change the name also i will add a script tag with the src of script.js to link my javascript with my html so initially what we will do is we will create a div with the id of string you can give whatever id you want and create an svg tag within the id give a height of something and width of something i will give a height of 400 and a width of 1515 the next tag you will add is the path tag and the D attribute which stands for path data and it will contain the points of the SVG and in our case it's a line. Let me show you how to give D by drawing it roughly. Assume this is your computer screen. In my case, I wrote 1515 so that it takes the entire width of my screen. And I took a height of 400, which is approximately some 400 pixels. So now to write the values of D, the first letter that we write is M, which stands for move to. In move to will take two values for X and Y. Both of them would be in pixels. If you want to see more notations like that, you can go to W three schools and there are these notations m for mu to l for linato and so on for the string that we are making today we will just use m and q for quadratic bezier curve so if i write m and i will give a x of 10 so it will start x from 10 pixels from the left side of the screen so somewhere over here let's say this is x equal to 10 and for the next value if i say y of 200 to make it centrally aligned because i have given the height of 400 half of it would be 200 so 200 would be this line this would be the first point which is x of 10 and y of 200 after move to i will give a q for quadratic curve and i will mention two more points which would be approximately in the middle like somewhere over here so if you do some math this is 10 i will also count 10 from the end so 1515 minus 20 which would equal to 149 5 and if i divide this by 2 it would be 747.5 so if i take approximately 748 it would be the midpoint of the string so i will write x of 748 and y of 200 to again make it centrally aligned and in q we give it two points so this was the first point now the second point would be the end of the string which would be 1515 minus 10 that is 1505 so 1505 and a y of 200 it would be a line something like this 10 from this side 10 from this side and the point that we gave for the midpoint now just so that your eyes do not blow up i will give the background color black nice now there are a few more attributes of path such as stroke width as the name suggests it would be the thickness of the stroke so i will give it a three stroke color signified just by stroke of uh, let's say white there is the line now the line is very wide so i want to pull the line back for that i will change the x to 50 and the end 1465 all right that's decent i will also give height and width to the string id and if you want to see how much the svg has covered i can give a background color of 
crimson this is how much screen the svg has covered we are just using a line if you want to see the line go up or down you can change this y value to let's say 400 so it will start from down and then go up let's make this 200 and let's change this to 400 to make a mountain you may wonder why this is black that's because whenever an svg is bent this needs a fill attribute so the fill attribute is not transparent in our case so if we just add a fill of transparent voila it's gone and if you want to see zero it would be a mountain go back to 200 to make it a straight line now what we want to do is to select everything in our javascript so i will create a variable of string which will select document dot query selector hashtag string and i will also store the path that we created in a variable which is this one the path data these are called constant literals constant literals just write a string in it but if you want to add javascript you can just create a dollar sign and curly braces and you can write javascript in it if i just say alert hey it will show me an alert of hey now what we are supposed to do is to add gsap so go to your browser and write gsap cdn go to cdn js and the first link which says gsap.min copy the script tag copy it above your script tag and this is very important step you have to copy the gsap cdn above your script tag or else it will not work to show you it will not work so i added the gsap.2 between uh, selecting string and changing it to background color of cornflower blue if you see in style.css the background color is still crimson but if i go to the website it is now cornflower blue now if i put the script tag above gsap uh, script tag it will not work so our goal is to move the string as we move our mouse so initially what we would like to do is to add a event listener of mouse move so that when i move my mouse the line also moves the string also moves with the cursor so first of all let us create a event listener to string the event would be mouse move and event listener takes a function after it just so that it works let us put an alert so if i move my mouse it gives an alert so it works you can also pass parameters within this function so if i pass a parameter of e and if i console log e it will give me some random values i mean they are not random but what we want from all of this is x and y for seeing it in action i will just put console log e dot x and e dot y it would give me the x and y of everything if i put my mouse right to the leftmost top it would be zero zero but because of the arrow it is not giving me zero but you can figure it out that it would be zero and if i move to right x is continuously increasing if i move down y is increasing all right that's all we needed remove console log we will write gsap.2 and select svg path svg means the svg tag we create where is it? svg tag we created and within the svg tag there is a path tag that we created so we have selected svg path for attributes of any tag there is attr short form for attribute in which you can give attributes of path like if i write svg attr i can change height and width but as we are talking about path we will use paths attributes which is path data create an object with d and path data can be the same thing as the mouse moves the middle portion will also move with the mouse to create that guitar like effect so for that i will change the x and y of this path now this is where this constant literals will come handy i will create a dollar sign with curly braces and i will write e dot x and same with y axis e dot y now if we go back this is pretty cool already but if you see it is just following your cursor no matter wherever you go and it just sticks to its place once you 
move out of the string div for that you would again add an event listener of mouse leave to the string div now because i do not want to use any javascript here i will not pass any arguments in the function parameter bracket i will again select svg path and change attr to the variable that we stored path so i will just write path here and if you see when i leave the string all right that does not work wow m o u v e is mouse so now if you see if i leave the string div it will go back to its place this is also cool but it's not the best that we can do what you would like to do is when you leave it it should bounce for some time so if you go to gseps website and go to easing section of the doc you will see a ease visualizer here with different values of ease you can try all of this if you want what we want from all of this is elastic so that whenever you leave it will bounce and come back to its place the syntax is given here is elastic dot out and the values i will just copy it and paste them with a comma go to document and there it is the bouncing effect now if you want some delay for this to follow you can also add a duration of 0.5 to create some delay and also when you leave it it looks a bit janky so i'll also add a duration in mouse out of 1.5 seconds yeah now it looks pretty cool and finally remove the crimson color and we can give the stroke crimson so that there is a red line which is an interactive string again reminding i have a video on scroll trigger if you're interested to create animations when you scroll that's where the scroll trigger comes in so please like the video and subscribe to the channel, share it to your friends and family, leave a comment if you liked it, leave a comment if you disliked it and see you soon. Peace out. Peace.